Lutar, Takar, Swada, Sustukistar, Dagwa, Ul Kaikaida, Winjara Bandar, Squarpeti Yekwa Sangwars. Okay, is that pretty much telling me? Okay, well, the game is over, you know. Go do whatever you want, Noros. It's almost what I got out of that last little bit. Well, we'll see. I've got a few people to talk to. Hopefully this video is not like five minutes. It'd be pretty disappointing if it was that short. Alright, do we have anything in here? Mm, oh, a, dang it. Rare white deer. Hey, rare little black lion! Let's go. Which hut can I upgrade now? I can upgrade Tensei's hut, so let's go do that real quick. Alright. Alright. <laughs> Masidam Shabal. Nati Haika Guasta, Saira. Salwa Urus. Winja Nashman Wider. Takar Nashman Dwyarish. Shaja. Mas Warbiti Warish. Tipal Shayu. Winja Yoga Takar Guarpati Takar Guarpati Takar Uhar Nu Tibrayash Swarsa Alright, what? <laughs> oh, I can't believe it. I see that kid's Beastmaster. Ol's kid, the oldest one. Well, we have a couple of things that we can. Okay, we go. Winja Salwa. Mam Urus Ati Jawa. Oh, hold on. There is a hand out here. Hold on. Let's grab this up. Alright, now where am I on the map? Got five skill points. Let's go ahead and use this somewhere. Grab that. I almost got all the skills. Got 28 out of 100 Daisha hands. I didn't even look where I am on the map. Why did? Why is that the place that spawns me back in at? All right, let's go back here. I missed the thing with Sila because I saved and quit. And then it spawned me inside of the game. So I'm not entirely sure what that was about. But we'll go ahead and go up this. I guess this video is just going to be uber short. It's my bad. I shouldn't have. I should have just played it out. 
And at this point, it's too late to edit those videos together because it's been... The, the, the one's already uploaded, and I believe it's probably published by now. Wait, wait. Oh, no, it's up here. Wrong HUD I was trying to upgrade. Caught on stuff. <laughs> Alright, Tensei's hut upgraded. Rewards 3000 XP. But I have that bonus experience. So that's nice. Gives me over 4000 experience. Uh, so I guess this is gonna do it for this series, guys. Um, this is an extremely short episode. So I'll just go ahead and grab that. I might actually play this game on my own to finish up all these skills and upgrade this last um, guy in the village. I just need a rare bite fish. And then I have the whole entire village 100% upgraded. Um, let's see. That's not... So I only have two more items I really need to craft. And they require badger skins and whatnot, but nothing really left on the map for me to do, uh, except I guess discover. I think I'm missing a couple, like this one. I don't think I just. Oh, no, I did. So I think I've discovered all these areas. Yeah, I have. So there's not really anything left for me to do in this game except get a rare bite fish skin and. Um, upgrade the rest of my village and my items. Other than that, there's not much not much left for me to do. Um, I really did enjoy this game. It was fun. Um, I wish I would have just combined this and had the other episode, but we'll run around and talk a little bit. Um, I really did enjoy this game. It was it was fun. It was different. It was a little bit, uh, though, honestly, you know, the, the, the big problems I have with it is it's just essentially normal Fire Cry without guns, without, uh, without English and so I, I I like the concept of this game but it's a little bit annoying that I ha that you have to read and that it essentially is just, is just ancient Far Cry which which is what it was supposed to be don't get me wrong I'm not stupid I don't expect it to be different but I feel like Far Cry almost does its best with guns uh, with a with a crazy um, while semi-realistic, uh, a, a funny, um, prote an was it, antagonist, there we go, antagonist, and, I don't know, it just, it just feels better. Far Cry 3 and Far Cry 4, I think, did a great job with their antagonist, even though I actually never beat Far Cry 4. I, I kind of spoiled Far Cry 4 for myself, um, I, I bought it, and then I didn't play it, I forget what other game was out that I was playing when it came out. And it got kept getting pushed back, and then one of my friends has these all-nighters at his uh, at his house, and one of my friends was playing it, and um, I was letting someone play on my Xbox. I didn't, I wasn't, I was just sitting with my phone texting and whatnot, and I like watched him play the whole entire Far Cry 4, and then it spoiled it for me to play it. Um, I'll have to buy it and play it because it's a good game, and I haven't beat it, so I need the I need the, the the gamer score for it. I don't know where I'm running. Like I haven't seen anything to kill other than. But, uh, while I did like this, I don't... Alright, fair. Um, while I love this game, I don't think I'm going to be doing the DLC for it. Um, I think I just got enough DLC uh, games on the plate right now to do uh, whatever DLCs come out for Rise of the Tomb Raider. I'll be doing those. As well as doing whatever DLC comes out for Fallout 4. Uh, Dark Souls 3 comes out, I'll be doing all the DLC for that. You kind of, when you do YouTube, you gotta pick and choose what DLCs you record. Now, I might play the DLC. I'm not saying that I won't play it, but it probably won't get recorded is pretty much what I'm saying, I guess. Um, because... I, I don't know if I, I don't play a lot of DLCs, I probably should, because 
I play too many games to begin with, so by the time a DLC comes out for a game, I've like move on from the game and I like no longer want to play it. Uh, so that's just that's really how that goes for me. I just while I love DLCs, sometimes they take a little long to come out, and then by that time I like don't have interest in your game anymore. Uh, so your DLC doesn't get played. And I'm always more than willing to buy DLC, but you gotta release it in a timely manner. Like, this Fallout DLC, though it really doesn't have an official release date yet, I don't think, it, it it's a little later than I would've liked. <clears throat> Let's check this out. Sorry, I have a bit of like a, not a cold, but I have like a, a cough. Um, not entirely sure what the heck it is. How do I not have any deer skins? Oh, there we go. I think I need 10 deer skins. I can't. Um, so it kind of just all depends. If I didn't love Fallout 4 so much, uh, hopefully I'll get back to that Let's Play. Um, just kind of cramped with game. I'm cramped with games trying to get the new games out, and then there's the, that that playthrough, that Let's Play may not finish until summer, which sounds ridiculously crazy, but. That might actually be the time before it actually gets uh, finished. Um, I do have spring break. Um, it's kind of weird. I have most college kids have already had their spring break, or it's this week. Mine is not until I I, I have spring break April fourth through the eighth. Those are the dates. It ends up being I don't know exactly what the days are. It ends up being like the. It end up being it's the be the third. It'd be like the first, but I, but I'm off. So it's like the 30th of of May or March through or the 31st of March through like the 12th of April, if you factor in the weekends. Um, and because I don't go to school on Thursdays or Fridays, so got to factor that in as well. Um, so maybe I'll get it finished up then, but. Um, I bought Resident Evil Revelations to do a Let's Play of, and I still have not gotten to that, and it probably won't get started because I'm going to be doing a Dark Souls 2 playthrough for Dark Souls 3 hype. I need to get back used to that game anyway, so I think it's a good strategy for me to do a, like a like a hype video, uh, a Dark Souls 3 hype vid or playthrough. So that's what I'm going to be doing next on the channel is just play. I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just literally running around in every which direction. Um, but I think that's what uh, I think that's what's gonna happen here. How am I not? What the heck? Really? <laughs> In the last part of my let's play, I get a weird freaking glitch. What the heck? What the hell just happened to this guy? Well, all right. That that's one way to end this off. But I will catch you guys. In the next series, keep up with the Tom Clancy's Division series. Uh, I've been really enjoying that. Um, I enjoy shooters, um, in all honesty, more than like anything. Uh, probably just stems from all the Call of Duty I've played in my lifetime. Um, this summer, we might do a Road to Commander for Call of Duty, because that's what I'm going to be doing when Call of Duty's come out for Let's Plays. It's just a Road to Commander, because, well, let's be honest, not many people want to see you play the campaign. Um, I might play the campaigns for them on Veteran, but... We'll have to wait and see, but that's going to do it for the Far Cry Primal Let's Play. Um, it was fun. I really enjoyed it. Uh, a really enjoyable game. Definitely worth the 60 bucks. There were a couple of points early where I was like, yeah, am I really going to like this game? Um, and then there was points where I was like, oh my god, I love this game. I'm going to 100% it. And then it, I have some mixed feelings about this game, but I, I, I thoroughly enjoyed it, and I'd recommend it. Um, definitely a great game. Um, I think it benefited from when it released. I believe if this was a release that competed with uh, the fall releases, it wouldn't have done well. Um, because I believe that those those not only have a better following, the games that come out in the fall, but they also tend to be the higher quality games of the year. Last year, you know, you had the exception of The Witcher. Um, this year, This year, we do have a chunk of really nice games coming out. Uh, in the spring, we've got, you know, Quantum Break, Dark Souls 3. I guess I'll just say all the games I'm going to be getting and Let's Playing. Um, we've got, uh, yeah, we've got those. Got Quantum Break, Dark Souls 3, uh, Mirror's Edge Catalyst. Um, I'm forgetting a game. It comes out in May. 
There's another game that comes out in May, and I forget what it is. Uh, there's Lego Star Wars, which I'll probably play, because I did like the new movie, so we'll, we'll, we'll play that, Lego Star Wars. That comes out in, like, June. What movie, what game am I forgetting with, uh, Mirror's Edge Catalyst? There's another game that comes out, like, right there with it. Oh, well. It doesn't matter, that's like two months away. I'll be out of college, I'll be done with the semester of college by then, so we'll be, we'll be rocking and rolling uploads. And, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this, uh, Let's Play. Let me know, drop a like if you did, subscribe, you know, if you haven't, um, uh, and I will catch you all in my next Let's Play. Peace out.